you doing today? Outstanding. Yeah. How are you doing today? Outstanding. That's right. That's right. So we have another outstanding speaker who is here today with us. And I, I especially like this gentleman because he has such an expressive face. Such an expressive. <laughs> and he, as he looked at me when I said something to him, he was like, oh, you know, <laughs> he gave me that eye. But this gentleman has so much energy, so much joy and so much oh, motivation that he shares with others. One of the things, he is a dynamic, one of the most dynamic young empowerment speakers and life coaches in the country. Taz Daddy is also the director of social media for the Clear Channel Radio, as well as one of the company's highest rated personalities. With his latest book, Common Sense Ain't Common, Taz shares life lessons that have led him out of homelessness, and prosperity. But we know that, don't we? Common sense. Is it that common? No, it really isn't. So anyway, Taz has been endorsed and mentored by my mentor, Les Brown. And Brown says of Taz, he is awesome. He will transform your life. Taz's outlook and perspective on our world is all at once humorous, analytical, uncanny, and thought-provoking. He's a mouthpiece of his generation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the floor. Welcome to today's signing, Mr. Taz Daddy. <laughs> no pressure. Whew. I get I get tired and overwhelmed by that introduction. I don't know who that, not, but I'm. That's what it says on my ID. I'm Taz Daddy. How y'all doing? Outstanding. Some y'all went. Right, you went all right. What's up with that man? Outstanding. Outstanding. Listen, my name is Taz Daddy. I am uh, a miracle. And that's the only way I can put it. You guys are absolute miracles. And what I mean by that is there are every time, and, and I didn't know this until I sat down with a friend of mine who was a biology major. Every time a woman gets pregnant in that process, there are six billion sperm. If you think about that mathematically, that's not a coincidence because there's six billion people in the world. Out of that, only one impregnates that egg. It's damn near impossible for you to be here, but you're here. And I'm here, and I had to get back in touch with what made me me, because I was caught up in the wrong things. I had a lot of energy and experience and things that just came very natural to me. My mother was a teacher, my father was in law enforcement. Uh, I started in radio at nine, I started speaking at 13. Uh, at 14, I had a TV show. Came on CBS Saturday mornings right before cartoons. So you couldn't tell me nothing. I was feeling good, I had all the toys, I could go to all the movies, I could do whatever I want. Young, brash, and cocky, somebody stopped me. And I grew up and I did what I had to do. Hey, Gomez, how you doing, girl? And what wound up happening, like anything else, you make some mistakes. You're not as Teflon as you thought you were. You're not as indestructible as your impetuous youth tells you you are. And so I, uh, I, I got married. I had a very, very bad work experience. And although I was doing well and making a heck of a lot of money, somehow, someway, without the use of drugs or alcohol addiction, I lost absolutely everything. I mean, I'm talking about from flying, not first class, but privately, going from one end of the world to the other, hanging out with movie stars and singers and dating actresses and anything you could possibly imagine, I have done, and it's been an absolutely amazing experience, and then all of a sudden, my phone just stopped ringing. The email stopped coming in, you know, and I had been fired before. I had lost jobs before. It wasn't a big deal, and people began to call me Radio Tupac. Get shot a couple times, ah, Taz be back. He'll be talking trash about it. Everything will be fine, and so nobody worried about me, and then there were people who began to separate themselves because they thought that all I was good for was to hook them up or put them on. And what I realized, aside from the fact that I was sleeping in my Jeep with what little I had, and as far as homeless people goes, to actually have a Jeep is doing pretty good, but not for me. Not, not in my mind. I'm like, this doesn't happen to other people. I'm Taz Daddy. This, no. And once I realized that it wasn't about me, once I understood that my place in the universe was infinitesimal, I got a brand new perspective. As my mother's favorite singer, Pay LaBelle, says, I got a new attitude. And I started separating myself 
from negative people. And I started remembering who I was at my core. And once that happened, things began to open up. And I'm working and I'm not back in the industry because somebody had it in their mind that they were going to blackball me, but you can't blackball the universe. And the universe had a plan for me. And so what wound up happening was I started writing. And I don't know why I was writing. And while I was writing, I was actually working and finishing up a TV deal. I start shooting this TV show and I heard a voice as loud as I am speaking to you right now saying, walk away from the TV deal. And I'm like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> mm -mm. you know, that means I'll be back in the Jeep. Not cool. Walk away from the TV deal and write. And so I'm like, no, this is not going to happen. You, you're crazy. And so I ignored it. And then all of a sudden, the voice said, walk away from the TV deal and write. And at that point, I was so scared. I was scared to the point where I began to sweat like I am right now. And my hands began to shake. And all of a sudden, I took a composition book and I started writing. And I started writing. And I was writing. And I sat there because I was working a horrible job at a career resource center as a security guard. And I don't know if you've ever been around a whole bunch of people in a recession who don't have a job. It's not fun. And it's not exactly the most uh, conducive place to write. But I wrote. And I wrote. And I wrote. And I wrote some more to the point where this hand got cramped. And then I had to get uh, software to speak because I couldn't write with my hand for six weeks. And I turned out Common Sense Ain't Common, a practical guide to getting the most out of life. And while this was happening, I kept getting these Facebook messages. Hey, Taz, check me out. Hey, Taz, check me out. What's going on with you, man? Hey, I want to hang out. And I would, you know, type back because I believe if anybody's going to take the time to talk to me, I need to take the time to talk to them because there was a time when no one was talking to me. And the person on the other end of Facebook was Harold Reed. And... Harold and I had talked and we had met up and I did an event in Brooklyn and we hung out. I was so happy to see him because he had said so many great things about me and I had read so many great things about him that when he came to Philly, I took him to my favorite burger joint, Nifty Fifties. And I'm telling you, the burgers are absolutely awesome. I don't know if you can tell this, but I like a good burger. <laughs> so he and I walk outside to the parking lot and he hands me his book, Find a Way to Make a Way. You're either part of the problem or part of the solution. And I read it in about three hours. I could not put it down. And I tell you what was so interesting about it wasn't that it wasn't things that I hadn't heard. Like, there are things in my book that if you were to buy it, you would probably already know. That doesn't change the fact that sometimes you need somebody outside of yourself to confirm exactly what you're feeling in here and what you're hearing in here because you hear a voice in your head and sometimes you think you're crazy. Like, I thought I was crazy when somebody said, walk away from the TV deal and write. And so... I'm here to tell you that Harold S. Reed Jr. is an amazing speaker. He's an amazing man. He has an incredible message. And the hardest thing in the world to do is walk away from something that isn't necessarily good for you, but is good to you. And Harold did that. Harold retired from the police force and is moving in a positive direction to not only help himself and his two children and his wife, but to help and empower people. I don't know what it is your purpose is. I don't know what it is you've come to do, but what I do know is that if you choose to, the greatness will flow from you like a river that can't be stopped. And that is the bottom line. You either choose to be great or you choose to cover manholes. I'm not gonna make that choice for you. That is a personal thing between you and the universe and how you feel about yourself. But I'm here to tell you the opportunity is here for everyone. There is not going to be uh, uh, an evil person holding you back. Your boss can't stop you. It's, it's, it's not a white man. It's not a black guy. It's not a mugger. It's not a robber. It's not Barack Obama. It's not Sarah Palin because she don't even know if the British are coming or not. <laughs> but it's you. And it is your choices. And if you make one choice today, pick up Harold's book. It's absolutely amazing. My name is Taz Daddy. Thank you so much for your time.